Hello everyone, my name is Kishan and welcome to today's video on Medallion Architecture, a modern approach to data lake design. In this video, we will break down the key concepts and learn how this architecture helps manage data efficiently. So what is Medallion Architecture? Simply put, it's a data design pattern used in modern data lake houses to manage and improve data quality efficiently. Its main purpose is to organize data into multiple layers, making it easier to clean, process and analyze data. Medallion architectures are sometimes also referred to as multi-hope architecture and we'll see why so further down the video. The key concept of medallion architecture revolves around the combination of data lake house and multiple layers of data. A data lake house combines the flexibility of a data lake with the structure of a data warehouse. The architecture is organized into three layers, bronze, silver and gold, each serving a different purpose in the data pipeline. Here is the pictorial representation of those three layers. We'll be breaking down uh, this picture and learning about each layer step by step. So moving on, the first layer is the bronze layer. Here, raw data is stored. The data comes from various sources and it hasn't been processed. So you could be receiving data from say, different databases, any API calls or Excel files, whatever. You try and maintain the same stable structure as the source system. And you can add in additional columns such as the processing timestamp and a process ID. Now these two additional columns or any more such columns are basically added so that you can, you can find the data that has changed. So uh, to capture CDC, these columns are added. Otherwise the data is same as what was received. Now the reason to keep the data same is that it could act as a historical archive uh, and help you create a data lineage. Also, in future, if there is any audit or any such need, you can always refer back to this table and see what data was received at what time. And then there are certain cases where you need, where you need to reload uh, the data, such as, uh, Say suppose you are getting the end of day stock prices from uh, from any system. Now you really, if you have stored the source data as is, you can then reuse the data for your future calculations or other calculations and you need not hit the source system again. You need not do a call to the source system again. Many a times each API calls are charged and in this way, because you have a stored set of data already because you have already stored the uh, data that you had received you can reuse it so that's the main purpose of bronze layer that you store the raw data it's a landing page for the data received moving on to the second layer which is known as silver layer over here the data is cleaned and confirmed but only minimal transformation is done. Actual transformation would be done when the data is loaded from silver to gold layer. So here it is, uh, you, so you do some basic validations and you kind of remove any duplicates or you would um, do only minimal transformations needed. So you could, uh, you could put in checks for your data quality, but no business rules or things that are then needed for a dashboard or something like that are added here. So it's basically, basically a place where you format or standardize your data. What happens is the data quality is improved because of the deduplication and the validations that we have done. So data is much more clean than it was in the previous raw data form. Also, you don't change the data much because you could have future requirements. 
which you have not yet built and then this data can be used to build those future requirements also you could use this data for any ad hoc reporting or any self service an analysis that you want to do even advanced analytics and ml models could run on this data because it is clean and validated it could be used but this layer will act as a source for the data engineers and the data scientists to further create projects and analysis uh, which they would then uh, use to answer any business problems which would typically be done in gold layer so this would act as a source for the gold layer moving on gold layer is basically an aggregated set of data this is the final layer and the data is highly curated and it is also optimized for any bi and analytics needs so if there is a dashboard which needs data in a particular format you get it from the gold layer if there are a dashboard which needs to do some aggregations say the, the data that you've got is daily and now you want to add it to the monthly level or quarterly or yearly level so you want to uh, there's a dashboard for sales power bi won't be doing all this uh, aggregation so you would pre-aggregate so all this aggregated data will be stored in the gold layer basically it's the final layer so somebody could just query this data and get the results like get their analysis or get the numbers that they are looking for to show it on a dashboard or create an excel or whatever but at the end the gold layer is for reporting and it uses more of denormalized and read optimized data models with fewer joins because then now now your dashboards which are running so you don't want more joins so it's denormalized data so we'll see a lot of star schema here in the data models this data is basically ready for reporting and uh, maybe for any ml models as well uh, the data is of low latency and high accuracy. So any KPI dashboards and all being built would be querying the data from the gold layer. Now let's recap what we talked about. So we started with the bronze layer, which is basically a data ingestion layer where you would get your raw data and store it and add a few columns which will help you identify the data it it is it is a place for historical data and and any auditable data so that's the first step the second is the first data transformation that is done not much very minimal where we just remove duplicates and do some validations and and basically stamp that this data is correct and the third one is aggregation and enrichment enriched data aggregated and enriched data so in this layer the the final layer this data can then be used by any power bi dashboards or ml models or even uh, queries but this data could now answer questions what we have done in this whole step by step process is we have improved the data quality so that's the whole uh, idea behind this architecture that the data quality improves step by step and also it is it is quite efficient uh, so we are improving the quality quite efficiently so the benefits of this architecture is again as we mentioned data quality uh, it is improved by governance by segregating into layers so each layer then can have its own governance policies uh, this is very much scalable it works efficiently for big data environments and it is flexible so it's easier to evolve and adapt as the data grows now you would have you would have thought that you already are familiar with this architecture like you already know about this uh, if you are not following it 100% you would be following it 70% or 80% so it's more like uh, 
it's more like a branding from i guess databricks where they've given a name or they've kind of standardized a process which was anyways being followed by most of the companies where uh, wherein you have your data pipelines getting you your data and and all those uh, and all those steps were being followed but here it is more standardized and and being called as uh, middleian architecture so i guess this video is helpful you will learn something uh, please do let me know your thoughts in the comments uh, this is kishan signing off for today thank you